So after driving all of these kilometers, 1,400 kilometers, these guys from Mega Springbuck, PJ and his team welcomed up, welcomed us with open arms. As soon as we got there, we started offloading. They helped us with our bags and our luggage to get in our rooms. Fantastic time. We had a couple of minutes to just relax and have a couple of refreshments and a couple of cold ones after driving all these hours. What a fantastic day. So after driving 1,400 kilometers all the way from Limpopo province into the northern province, PJ from Mega Springbuck invited us into his Springbuck Trophy Ram Camp as they were busy darting these animals and measuring the horns and trying to separate them into which camps they go. Just have a look at these beautiful longhorn Springbucks that get bred especially for the guys doing the, the Grand Slams. Uh, these, these rams mostly go to the different breeding camps as to improve the potential of the horn length. Just a fantastic time. Man, there's the first one going off. Right, so they were just tagged. Um, measured, given a lot of medicine, antibiotics, and uh, man, just have a look at that. Everyone that works here knows exactly what to do. Fantastic. First one's been loaded, moved to the camps. They've got different camps. Um, man, fantastic to work with these guys. So, Mega Springbuck is situated up in the Karur, which is a small town called the R. PJ, uh, the guy in the blue shirt. He's the owner of Mega Springbuck. They are really, really well organized. Um, Mega Springbuck is known for mostly the Grand Slams of the different colors, which they really, really do well in. And just have a look at this beautiful area and mountain range that we are going to have a hunt today. All right, sir. Yeah, we are a bit different than I expected. Very, very, very open, as you can see. I've got the 308, the 308 Musgrave. Now it's a waiting game. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can uh, put some spring bucks down. We had a really good um, day yesterday. We sighted in all the rifles. They are all zeroed perfectly. Our shots will probably be between 100 and 200, maybe 250, 300, uh, which I'm not too comfortable shooting that far. <laughs> In the bush field, we're close to, you know, we shoot close, you know, close 100 meters. That, you know, that's basically where we shoot. Uh, 150 maybe. Out here, you can see your dog run away for about three weeks. <laughs> so, uh, let's sit back, there's some guys put out all over on this open area some kilometers out of each other um, we've been given our areas where we are allowed to shoot and we are, our no-go zones are so uh, let's see if we can put some some spring buck down and uh, see if I can show you guys some nice footage there you can see the position I'm in got the ammo with me 
just have a look at those beautiful Hornady SST 150 grains Swarovski beautiful scope just have a look at that I've got tarots I can set I suggest if you come this side make sure you have a, a scope that's got you know, nice big tubes maybe 30 more tubes um, that it's at least something that can that can do a lot of zooming because as you can see behind me you can shoot till five six hundred meters the wind is quite you know pumping today but um, if you know your rifle you can shoot quite far and then what I also suggest is get something um, you know like a rangefinder this is a, a Zeiss um, 10, 10 by 50 and it's got the rangefinder in as well so all right so I hear on the radio there's possibly some a spring buck heading my way so I'm gonna put down the camera a bit but that's just a little tip but guys come and check out mega spring buck um, it's up in the Karua um, in the northern Cape beautiful area beautiful mountains um, just a fantastic fantastic beautiful area um, nice and flat they've had a really good rain here yeah up in the R So this grasshopper population is crazy. These grasshoppers come in in millions and millions and they destroy these areas of the grass for the animals. Definitely a big problem. Right, so the total of animals, um, as you can see there, these guys are really, really equipped really well. They take this cold room with, they uh, you know cut them put them in keep them cold from the start um, we got about six on an average between us all which was a good hunt and we had a really fantastic time after a blistering day out in the sun and uh, even though it's quite cold the sun still beats down on you PJ brought us back back to the lodge had a fantastic sundowner in the trophy room at the top just had enough time you know, to chill out, play some games, play some pool, throw a couple of darts and have a sundown and just have a look at this beautiful view. Right, so our bucket list, Andre is looking for a beautiful big Oryx Bull Trophy, Roland Ward. And Neil also looking for a Barbary Sheep, massive, massive Barbary Sheep Ram. And also Angora, Angora Bok. And Paul also is looking for Angora Buck. So let's see if we can glass through these areas, these mountain ranges. The rain is pouring down. 
it's making it difficult to spot the camera zoom is keeps on zooming onto the onto the drops so the focus is quite out but just have a look at these weird looking Damara four horn sheep most ugly looking thing you can come and hunt them as well uh, you know something unique they've got four horns some of them have six horns really really crazy looking animals So these animals keep on bundling, turning and bundling. We couldn't get a shot and then Neil waits exactly for the perfect time as you can see as follows. Just have a look at that. It gave him a split second of chance and boom. Quota. 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 Vai. Mega Springbuck is a game farm situated in the Karua, 10 kilometers outside the R. The animals we breed have some of the best genetics in the world. The famous VH Springbuck was bred on this farm in partnership with the jewels of the Karua. Go and check out Mega Springbuck at megaspringbuck.co.za or contact PJ. The contacts will be on the screen. All the animals hunted in this video, all the carcasses were used for human consumption. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Eben Smith. You're watching both guns, rods and reels. And remember, shoot straight and fish hard. <laughs>